Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Lindsay, and this is Life with Lindsay. Get into a little bit of the boring stuff. If you hear noise directly to my left, I do have a fan running. I record on the third floor of my house, and it is hot. I also record when my, my toddler is sleeping or sleeping, so if you hear tiny human noises, that's what that is. So, let's get into it. What do we have today? Diamond Art Club unboxing, in case that wasn't obvious. Um, bunch of pre-orders coming in. Not sure which one this is, but I'm excited to see it with you guys. So, I just cut the edge of my box here because I don't have a very large space here. And I also gave my husband my tiny scissors and I forgot to get them back. So, let's see what we have. We're just going to kind of... There we go. Totally organic, falling off the edge of my table. Ooh, oh. And the crowd roars. Ah. No, just me. Anyway, this is Mother Earth from Hannah Lynn. This is a round kit from Diamond Art Club. As you can see here, it is 56 by 76 centimeters. If you were ever curious, I have terrible lighting, so I'm going to do my best here, you guys. This number here, the 22 by 30, that is the size frame that it would fit into. So, while you guys are here, make sure that you like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Subscribe. Be part of the, the Sparkle Squad here, you guys. I don't upload on a schedule because, as I said, I have a toddler and I operate on toddler standard time. So, best way to find out when I'm uploading whatever it is I'm uploading, is to hit that bell. And make sure you guys share this video. Share it with your friends. Share it with your enemies. I don't care. Just share it. I am so excited for this. I'm actually finishing up a Hannah Lynn right now, and her artwork is absolutely stunning. I'm going to do my best in the space that I have here to show you guys everything. But... All right, let's start with the toolkit. A basic toolkit with a boat, a squishy, a pen, some baggies. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to move this box over. Get it out of the way. Oh, what did I forget? I forgot the goodies, guys. So... This is an image of what she will look like when she is completed. I am absolutely in love with this. <sighs> it's gorgeous. So this kit does have 53 colors. We have three ABs. And if you guys don't know what an AB drill is, they're the ones with the super sparkly, like this. It's a coating on top. Trying to capture it in the light. Don't mind my naked nails. I keep saying I'm going to paint them, and then I don't, because life. But you put these on your canvas, they add a little extra sparkle, and they make everything around them sparkle. This sheet here is on sticker paper, so you can actually just cut these right out and put them right onto your drill containers. And if you are someone like me, who does keep a logbook, this is perfect. You can also put them on the end of your box. When you store them so that you know what kit you're working on or what you're grabbing. So, how is everybody doing tonight? Or to the morning, I don't know, whenever you're watching this. How are you? How was your day? Ooh, sorry guys. Took you for a little wild ride there. Alright. So, I know everybody sees these are the instructions and most people go, let me toss it. But, just a heads up, if you didn't know... There is a discount code. I didn't tell you that, but there is one. Also, if you look at the bottom of your packing slip, which let's do this without showing you guys my address here. There's also a code. Diamond Art Club really wants you to not pay full price for things. So, drills, canvas. Let's do the drills first. If you guys don't like the crunchy noise, I apologize. And if you do, that's for you. So, 
good thing about this is it does tell me on the outside of my bag here the number of the canvas and the name of the canvas as well. If you're one of those people who likes to store your stuff separately, drills from canvas, then that's a really good way. Gosh, these are so many blues and so many beautiful colors. All right. So if you've never done a diamond art club, one thing I will say is they do use the DMC code, which is great. They list their bags in order of size. So they're not necessarily in DMC code order. So. All right. And I'm going to go through these pretty quickly. If you're one of those people that really likes to go in depth into the bags of drills, please let me know down below. Otherwise, I know most people tend to fast forward through this. They just want to see what the colors are and move on, see if the quality is good. Um, I will let you know, some of these will show up a little bit different on camera than in person, but these are very vibrant colors. Then we've got one, two, three, four, five bags of 310. They're gorgeous blues. Um, blue is my favorite color in case anyone wanted to know. Here is your white AB drills. You can see that iridescent coating on it. It's like a, a mint. There's so many blues in here. This is stunning. The quality of these drills look nice too. Gorgeous mint color. It's coming up more blue in camera than it is, but... Fun fact about myself, not that anyone was asking, I'm incredibly disorganized, so if you hear things falling and crashing around us, let's just keep moving and pretend it didn't happen. A nice, like, far screen. Gorgeous. That's one of my favorite DMC colors, the 550. It's just a beautiful purple. Oh, got a little straggler in there. Hello, friend. That is another AB. This one is blue. Can you guys see that? There. Oh, see that light just caught that. That's beautiful. More blues. Shades of aqua. Marigold blue. Loving that. And then some red. Oh, I'm sorry. There are two AB colors. Not three. Because I apparently can't count. Anyway. Let's get into the canvas, you guys. Like I said, I do have a limited workspace here, so I'm going to try to make this fit the best I possibly can. Um, Diamond Art Club does use poured glue. And this canvas, if you've never done a Diamond Art Club canvas, do yourself a favor and get one. The quality is unreal. I absolutely adore every kit that I've done from Diamond Art Club. The canvas is almost velvet-like. Which is a weird thing to say, especially if you've done some cheaper canvases that are more rough textured. But anyway, if you have a canvas like this and it's not completely flat when you lay it out, the Diamond Art Club canvases will actually flatten themselves out. But because it's poured glue, you can actually roll it the other way to help. Please don't do that if it's double-sided tape. And if you are unsure, please ask someone. You can ask me. If it has an opaque cover on it, it is likely double-sided tape. All right. Oh my goodness. One thing I love is you can, I mean, I don't know if you guys can tell from this angle, but there's actual sparkle on the canvas itself. So this is Hanalyn. And whoop, what did I say it was? 53 colors. There are so there's so much going on here from like the birds and the clouds, the antlers, the flowers. I mean, you can see this without any drills on it. Here's the moon. Our kid has a fascination with calling the overhead lights in our house the moon. She always says that she needs to touch the moon. My husband is really tall. I am not. So he can actually touch the moon. The moon. <laughs> he can touch the light. He can actually pick her up and reach it. I can't. Look at this with the little goose and the waterfall. And there is the world. And I'm somewhere over here. And the pregnant belly. This, The colors in this, is they're unreal. I love this. It has legend on both sides, which is great. And 
you have all the information. Diamond Art Club does license their artwork, so all of their artists do get paid. Um, I'm just going to quickly, not too quickly, because I don't want to knock everything off my desk. Just roll it the other way to help flatten it out. Whew. Now, I will say, I'm one of those people, I don't have great eyes, I don't have great eyesight, I always use an overhead light, and I use a light pad. These canvases, you do not need. You really don't. The colors are so vibrant. Let's see, let's look at the symbols here. There's a lot of alphanumeric. Not any really strange symbols. Have you guys ever gotten a kit where you have a symbol that you're like, what is that supposed to be? There's like the U-turn symbol I've seen. Um, I tend to not love the three dots and the hazard symbol. Even if they're different colors, sometimes I get thrown off. Uh, this kit actually only has those two. These look good though. So, public debate. Do you guys call that a pound sign or a hashtag? Let me know down below. She is beautiful. So I'll try to bring up the canvas as best I can. Like I said, the lighting in here is not great. So if I get too close, it gets too dark. Oh yeah, you guys can see that. Hopefully you guys can see that. Let's see all these. Let's see where the ABs are. So one and two. One is a blue color, so you're going to have accents of the one under her belly, and then two is actually in the globe. Hmm, beautiful. I love Hannah Lynn's artwork. If you guys haven't done a Hannah Lynn, it's very enjoyable. And this, as big as it is, doesn't seem like it has an excessive amount of 310. Um... You know, some canvases are just overloaded with 310, for better or worse. But, let me know. What do you guys think? Do you love this canvas? Have you done a Hannah Lynn? Do you love them? Am I convincing you to go out and get one? Hopefully I am. But, that's all I got for you guys today. I want to thank you so much for being here with me. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure to hit that notification bell so you are notified anytime I upload a video. Because, like I said, no schedule. Toddler standard time. Thank you guys so, so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.